Obsession. 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 My old family are real music obsessive, and uh, my old brother's ten years older than me. A lot of the music that I heard as a kid was his music collection, really. And the first song I remember really being obsessed with of his was Forest the Spider. Oh, by the Who, and I wanted to own it myself. And my mum took me into our price, I must have been about six or seven, and I'd sort of misheard who it was by. So I asked for Boris the Spider by Pink Fluoride, thinking it was actually Pink Floyd, and the guy in our price then um, made all his mates come out and actually hear me ask for it. So that was pretty embarrassing. So I guess that was actually my first attempt at purchasing something. <laughs> Apart from that, I had on the Jungle Book album. <laughs> I think the first album I actually went and bought on my own was any Aston Mondata from Police. <laughs> Do, 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 da, 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 so that's the first one I actually remember buying. I'm not actually that ashamed of anything, but there are several seriously dodgy records that I bought. I've not thrown away any of my seven inches that I bought when I was a kid. Probably the dodgiest is Shaking Stevens' Green Door. But I was only about nine when I bought it, so I'm allowed, I think. I think the most imaginative musician probably has to be Marquis Smith. Because even though he's getting on a bit now and he's made 35 records or whatever, albums, um, he's still brilliant. And I can't believe anyone else who's got older and is still really good. The ultimate pin-up for me was David Bowie. I had one directly above my bed, so I used to look at him while I was falling asleep at night. Going out on a Friday night, I put on We Are Family, Sister Sledge. Fantastic disco records. I think my favourite thing that Alaska's ever done is probably Line Up because that was the very first thing we ever recorded as a band and the demo that we did of it ended up on the first album and it was weird for me because it was the first time I'd ever heard us I was actually recorded and I just thought it sounded brilliant so that's probably got a special place for me really. We tried to re-record it but it wasn't as good as the demo so we stuck with it which I'm really glad we did. The first band I ever saw play live was actually Duran Duran at Wembley Stadium. And I went with my friend and her mum. Even then, it did occur to me that Simon and Don could not sing or dance, to be honest. I loved it, you know, screamed my head off. I think probably my most tender musical memories of getting into the Smiths, when I first got into the Smiths. Really Around the Fountain's got quite a special significance to me. I really love that song. The last album I bought was the La Tigre album, which I really like. If I could recommend one album that I thought people, you know, didn't have, I, mean, I would presume that quite a lot of people would have this, but if they didn't, I'd say I'm Curious Orange by The Fall. Because that was the first full record that really got me into the fall, and I think it's the most sort of simple, raw version of the fall. You know, I'm sure the people out there have got it, but if they haven't, that's the one. Session of session.